Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday and on Mondays I like to do what sold over the weekend. I did have one sale Friday which was $150 little tiny um, 14 karat gold charm that said I love you forever. Came in a jewelry bag and that sold for $150 and I had it go out Saturday morning. Normally sales that go out Friday, I don't ship until Monday. So that was part of it, but I did not include it in today's um, wrapping since it went out on Saturday. So what I sold was I had one, two, three, four, five. I actually had six sales from Saturday and Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, the past two days. And they totaled, totaled I'm reading, <laughs> they totaled $178, which isn't very much. Anything over 200, I usually, you know, $100 a day is nice. But anyways, 178 after 20% commission, I only profited 143. I sold a panchi bra. I'm gonna be wrapping these with you and showing you. A pon panchi bra for 31. I sold two pairs of men's Aku um, khaki shorts. I took a $50 offer for both of them. I sold some Dr. Comfort sandals for 25. That was an offer as well. A pink uh, Denim and Company button up pink blouse for 17 again that was an offer two jewelry orders i sell poshmark jewelry buy one get one free one was 25 one was 30 and there you have it guys i'm going to try this new format of showing you what sold after i tell you and verbalize thought it would be easier um and yes how are we doing <laughs> I also have a little story that I'm going to kind of incorporate while I am wrapping. So if you are a reseller, if you're into storytelling, um, keep on watching. Please subscribe and share. And thank you so much for watching. Okay. Um, in the description will be the links to my Poshmark and eBay closet. I have been selling on and off since 1999. So the first thing we're going to wrap together is this pink Denim & Co. button-up blouse. And it is going to Southport, um, oh, it's going to Southport, North Carolina. So I am going to wrap that in a, I sold on eBay. I'm going to wrap it in here. And these white bags I'll be linking in the description. And I just get them on Amazon. You know, nothing too special, just plain white bags. And I sell, if I sell things on eBay, I don't usually use priority unless it's asked of me. And I just use ground shipping, and I think it saves people a little bit of money. Unless, of course, you live on the West Coast, then I wouldn't be purchasing anything from me because <laughs> you're going to be paying, um, paying lots of shipping. So anyways, that is the first thing that sold. And that is on eBay. I'm going to just put it over here, right there. Okay, the next thing I sold on eBay were these Dr. Comfort men's slash women's unisex slides. These I had originally brought um, for my mom, actually, <laughs> and she didn't want them. But um, it's like an arch support type of sandal. Again, they are unisex, and these are a... I don't can't really see the size. I think they're size 9. I think I remember 9. And that is my, what my mom is, so they're probably a size 9. So what we're going to do is, because they are going on eBay... Um, and it's going ground. I, I first put in a priority mail envelope because a box is going to be heavier. So I try not to use boxes for anything unless it's, unless it's something fragile. So first I put it in a priority mail envelope. Take the air out. There we go. Look at that. Football! Um, I don't know why I did that. And then I put it in a white, a white envelope. A white envelope to cover the priority and just in case the white envelope um, gets ruined by the man I mean gets ruined by weather or just aggressive postal handlers and there it is right there it's just like that I mean you could kind of feel I would know that that was sandals personally okay so that's going to <laughs> that's going to California and I'm sure he probably paid like 18 bucks to ship them all right, again, if you are a reseller, you do not need to worry about what people pay so much because they're paying, not you. So, I mean, anything you could buy. Um, I used to watch, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Lavender Clothesline. Such a sweet lady. Haven't watched her in a while because I'm trying to limit my reseller 
content because I was getting carried away and not doing videos and stuff. Ponchi black bra. And I think this was like a K, a larger size. That sold on Posh, so that could go clarity now. Lavender clothesline buys whatever she likes to sell. And she doesn't take into account that something's going to be heavy because her philosophy is that um, some if someone loves it, they're going to pay shipping regardless. And I do like that. So she picked up, I think the last video I watched, which I think was a year ago, she picked up a, oops, let me grab that. She picked up a very, very heavy chandelier. I think it was like $50 at the Goodwill. And I think she has it up for like $3,000. Um, it will be hundreds to ship that. But you could take it to UPS and they will wrap it up for you. Okay, so the next were these two pairs of size 42 khaki. This is the brand. This was probably a bad buy. A Koo brand. And I think I brought them over a year ago. I'm pretty sure I did. I bought them over a year ago. I had three pairs and I don't know. I always thought size 42 was a popular men's size for pants, but maybe it isn't. So it's just a, a blue pair and a khaki pair. I'm going to ship them in this Adkins box because they sold on eBay and they sold ground. Um, and I don't have any white envelopes. I need to order some myself on Amazon. Okay, that something fell. Okay, I need to order some myself. So I am just shipping it as well as I can. I'll tape it after not. It's very heavy. It's very heavy. I think it's like three pounds. So that is going ground and it's going to Florida. So I'm just, I have the label. I have this. I'm going to put some tissue paper over that. I'm going to put a thank you sticker and I will seal it up off camera. Okay, so next is just jewelry. I want to tell you this little story since I'm almost done. Um, I don't really want to use the word empath because it's very new agey and I'm not new agey. But I'm going to use it here to refer to people like myself that are super, have the feels all the time. I'm very emotional and highly sensitive to sounds. A lot of people I take in, again, using words that are not words I would tend to tend to use like energy, but I pick up people's negative. If I'm, if I'm around someone that's always negative, I feel negative. If I'm around someone who's positive, I feel positive. I think everybody sort of is like that to a T. Little tiger eye earrings and a 1980s tricolor gold, copper, silver, gunmetal, and it's a matching necklace and bracelet. She bought it for 30 and the earrings were free. She bought this for 30 earrings free. Okay, so I was at the Goodwill the other day. And as I was in line, I, I noticed, you know, I'm not blind. I noticed um, a lady who like was maybe 70 and then a lady that was my age. And they were both, um, they were both limping. Let me get a bag. Oh, here we go. Bag. They were both limping. They both had casts on their on their ankles and their um, knees. Like they maybe had knee surgery. And since I had knee surgery last year, I know that struggle. So the older woman, which was the mom actually, the, uh, I noticed her because she was behind me in line. And put it in a bag. Trying to multitask here. I noticed um, she had like a bunch of pet stuff. Like a lot of different pet stuff. Like obviously they have a lot of pets, pet carriers, uh, pee pads, a whole bunch of stuff like that. Now the other lady had already cashed out and she was by the door and she looked about my age, but she was hunched over. She clearly was in pain. And so she goes, mom, can I have the keys to get into the car? The mom, the mom just really nastily, nastily, that's not a word. The mom was nasty to the daughter and said in this tone, well, if you could walk over here, dear, you could have the keys. And I was looking, oh my gosh, number one, that's her daughter. Just walk over there. I mean, you're in pain, but actually the daughter looked worse. The daughter was definitely in more in pain. I felt it and you could see it. And the daughter was like, like really sad face. As soon as I looked, because I was still in line, I saw her sad face. I immediately felt sad. And it's just the way it is. I feel lots of people's emotions in a very strong way, which is why I'm not on social media other than YouTube. Not on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, any of that. Um, yeah. So, so anyways, she did that. 
and you could tell she didn't want to go over and get the keys and then so i won't say the colorful choice of words but there were four letter words the 70 plus mom was saying to the daughter finally the daughter obeyed and limped over and oh and then she didn't even get the keys the mother grabbed the keys out of her purse and we all of everybody around him was she was on display she showed the daughter the keys, but then she grabbed him back and said, you get in line so I could go sit down. And it was the way she said it. It wasn't like, oh dear, I'm in a lot of pain too. Do you mind if, or not even do you mind? Just like, hey, can you stand in line for me? No, it wasn't any of that. So she grabbed, she put the keys back in her purse. Then she took the daughter, the daughter's basket with her things and pushed her basket in front of her daughter. And again, used some four color, four, <laughs> Four letter words told the daughter to get behind me in line because there was one person checking out there was me there was the mom but now the mom went to go sit down and so the daughter when I went to see her arm I noticed she also had a cast on her arm so her ankles were bandaged her knees were bandaged she was um you know hunchbacked over in pain um and she had a a brace on her arm and so when she went to pick up something out of the cart it fell and then she just looked at it and then looked over to the mom and the mom said, don't be so blank lazy, pick it up. I nearly had a cow. I would, I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to intervene because I was feeling their feels and getting very emotional. And I wanted to just like either tell that mother something or leave the store and abandon my car altogether because it was just a situation that I didn't want to be around. It's almost like if you are on social media and you see people going at it and being nasty and you feel like, oh, that's just too much of a negative energy or whatever, and you don't want to be on. That's how I felt. So I just, I ignored the mom. I actually then pretended the mom wasn't there at this point. Um, and I started helping the daughter, helping the daughter. You could hear the mom saying, don't help her under her lips. And I just continued. And so the daughter was saying, no, no, it's okay. Because I was like, oh boy, I wonder if once they get in the car, is the mom gonna tell her off? But it wasn't her fault that I was helping. I wanted to help, because she was gonna be there for a long time and obviously no one else was gonna help her. So I did help. Um, and she was saying thank you and this and that. So it was my turn, I cashed out. I, I started interacting with the daughter saying, oh, you know, looks like you had knee surgery. She said, yes, I did 15 years ago, but they're shot. They only last 15 years. I need knee surgery again. I need ankle surgery. I need arm. I need hand surgery. And I sympathized with her and I felt how she was feeling. So to make a long story short, it was a not a very good story time. And it affected me like it affected me so much when I came out to the car. I told my husband about it and um, you know, he, those things don't bother him. I mean, obviously they bother him, but they don't bother him with the fact that he's going to lose sleep about it. So I started praying for them, praying for the situation. And then I saw the mom leaving the daughter in the store and she had her things and, and she was trying to, she was parked in front of me and my husband and she was having a hard time as well. I was already in the car. And I should have, I should have got out of the car and then helped them, helped the mom out because, you know, you get farther with sugar than vinegar. I don't know if the mom, it was kind of fear. Like, I don't know if the mom then would have said, oh, how come you're helping my daughter? I don't need your, you know, I don't need, I'm not a charity case. You just don't know. And unfortunately in this day and age, the jewelry, Charlotte, North Carolina, in this day and age, you do not know who has your back, who doesn't have your back. You don't know who means you harm. Like I could have went over there and she could have had a gun. You know, she could have told me, you know, off or something. Um, so I didn't go over there, but I probably should have. Let's just put it that way. So it really affected me and I just feel really sad. And it's like, why am I, I'm, feel, I'm still feeling sad. I'm still feeling sad for her because in my mind, um, I do struggle with OCD bad thoughts and I always have get that from my mom. I'm pretty sure. And, um, I'm like thinking in my head, oh my gosh, she's probably being beat at home. You know, even though she's my age, she's probably being like having food withheld, you know, stuff that we, who, who knows and I realized you can't save the world but it did really affect me and those things that I see really affect me and I really just don't want to be around it and it's not a matter of um out of sight out of mind I know I know there's a lot of evil out there but anyways any you know using the term lightly empaths or 
people that take on other people's feelings, energy, what have you. Um, comment below if you have a similar story and how do you handle it more importantly because I never know how to handle situations like that. Um, I know the whole, if you see something, say something. But again, in this day and age, confrontation, you don't know what you're dealing with, you know. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope that wasn't too boring for you, but I was just trying to make it a little more interesting. And um, usually I journal about stuff like that, but this time I told you guys. So I will be back next Monday with another video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, and comment, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.